to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In our last episode, we found out that Mega, uh, or Phantom Savage if you prefer, was not responsible for summoning Lavos. I mean, he did, but he wasn't responsible for his creation. We're here in the Laruba Village. This place has seen better days. We found out that the, um, the Reptites attacked, and uh, I guess these hidden guys that Sky spoke of a couple episodes back, uh, they got found out. Reptites were not too pleased. I guess they took it out on the ones that can't fight back. That's low. This guy's just as angry, but she wants to fight. Cold pain breathe, but dead on inside. Damn. It's cold blooded. Yeah, give Dactyl. Sure, we could we could use Dactyl. You give Dactyl? We want Dactyl. Yeah, give Dactyl. Let's go get Dactyl. Actually, not far from here. We could have gone here a couple, uh... Could have just gone here ourselves and picked up a couple of things down here, like, treasure-wise, but... It didn't make sense to go here unless we actually had the reason to go for. Try as I might, I can't sneak past this fight. I don't know, he turns on the other side and I try to run after him, run away from him before he can turn around, but it still counts as a... Anyway, same as before. We hit these seemingly... No small rocks, but <gasps> there are many volcanoes. As it usually is, you want to hit the uh, with these cave apes. You want to hit the other enemies first before the cave ape retaliates and throws them at your party. If you've got anything to throw, you won't retaliate. Then we can just focus on the ape itself. If I sound different, it's because I'm once again under the weather. I don't know what it was. The changing of the seasons. Maybe it was my niece coming over that. Uh, the mom was sick. So. Anyway, these enemies, avian rexes, not too... They're fast, but they're not very big on HP. In fact, well, just a dose of uh, lightning 2 will do the trick. And I can see what that chest is up there. Yeah, they'll get their hits in. I think both of them might... Nope! Okay. If it was like a second off, they would have both gotten the hit off me this ladder, or I guess like climbing rocks or whatever, don't look like ladders, they look like acorns, I'm not sure, but any mid-ether in there, I think this fight I actually can sneak past, this one coming up with rocks, we're getting a mid-tonic, thread the needle, another climbing spot and to the right, another fight I have to take. Once again, take out the uh, rock first and then the apes themselves so they can't retaliate and do counterattacks by throwing shit at you. Going up these climbing stones now. Way over here. I can sneak past this as well. I think if I. I think there's another ape that comes up there if I touch those rocks. But anyway, Mesomail. I believe I'm gonna put that on PM. One more fight I gotta take with those avian rexes. Up those stones and through here. There's Sky. There's that ominous looking red star over there on the right in the sky, and there's Dactyl! You can only wrangle the one Dactyl, huh? Hell yeah! We ain't going to die. We're gonna put a stop to them. Let's do it together. Yay, more dactyls! It once again also means that 
This guy is with us for the this portion. Although after we take care of the Tyranolair, she is ours to keep. I'll bring Kizzy along for most of this just because I still have his combination of Hero Metal and Masa Moon for the crits. We fly! Now that we have the Dactyls, we can fly anywhere we damn well please on this map. Unfortunately, there's not that much to fly to. Other than over here to the right. To the Tyranolair. But first, like when we got KZ back an episode ago or two. Take her over to the end of time to meet with Specchio in a form we're not nearly nowhere near ready to take on yet he tells us the the bad news you know these other skills will get you by but no magic for her let's go stop in and say hi to mom introduce our new lady friend before we head on the tyranno lair she's on drugs <laughs> what do you think I learned how to suplex? I got the positioning respecting from my father. Anyway, to the Tyranno Lair! Alright, we in there now. Let's see if I can't sneak past these guys very carefully. I manage that. Sometimes a reptile will show off through that uh, mouth and challenge us, and we gotta fight him off, and uh, two of them cave oops. These reptiles, they just. They do more than just look different. They're actually a lot sturdier than their uh, greener cousins. Even if I cast Lightning 2 on them, it'll only depower them like most dinosaurs. So I just wail into them with these guys. As far as new techs, I've obtained my final one, Luminaire. Sky got Charm. That's the whole reason I... Wanted to grind her off a little bit and build her up to get that particular tech. Open that shit up, let these guys go. Nothing in there to worry about. We do have another fight in our hands. Just wheel away on these guys, but yeah. Uh, I got Luminaire, Sky got Charm. Dual techs with Sky include uh, Twin Charm with Mush. That'll come in handy for enemies and some bosses, because Charm is, you know, your... Your basic, um... Steal item from enemy or boss uh, spell or technique. Also got Slurp Kiss and Bubble Hit with KZ. Boost Toss and Boogie with PM. And everybody now has that really good and expensive armor from Medina Market. Everyone's sporting like the Lumen Robes and the Glow Helms that anybody could put on and shit. So everybody's pretty set for a while. show off me um, casting lightning too and them actually not dying from it in one hit but it does soften them up they're not gonna be able to swing at me now so I can just go and finish them off yeah there's the crit trying to get skies off I was trying to get skies off as well because she actually hits a little bit harder we'll all be hitting crazy damage soon but Sky will have made it first, no doubt. There's Kino. The button doesn't work, so Sky has to... Break the door down! Just gonna climb in there. Clip to the wall. 
Dismount. Oh, and she sticks the landing. <laughs> we don't have room for a fourth king, no. Damn. Busting right through that shit. Oh, yeah? Well, before we follow him, there's actually... I can go in here and get that egg real quick. That's actually a chest mid ether. Follow him back through the... very beginning of the Tyranno lair. Yeah, the apes are gone. And he opens that shit up. Thank you, Kino. Okie dokie. Hit these buttons, otherwise we gotta fight these enemies over here. On each side. There we go. We take the right path first. Just for a little something extra. The left egg here has a full tonic. The right opens up a pit beneath us and we have to fight those enemies we just dropped. So, back out in this time. Oop. It's too close to the center and these guys showed up. Alright, I gotta fight these guys off screen. Trying to avoid as many fights as I can, despite them giving out pretty decent uh, experience and tech points. It's just easier to go to the... What you call it, do that? Anyway, don't move away, just move to the left there to avoid them. Oh, this area. Hmm. I wrote shit down, but... Maybe I can practice. I mean, we got like three out of the four things I'm going for here. If you walk to certain areas, you'll get stuck in, like, teleporters, and they'll take you for all the way random places around the room. Um, let's see. Okay, I got the revive. Um, let's see. Let me get out of this one. Okay, that's the exit. That's useful. Um, I think that's going to teleport me. No? Okay. Sure, I got a tonic. There's also a ceratopper and a meso meal down here. I can get to them. I don't think this is the way to get it though. I'm trying to remember. Okay, that puts me just over there. Okay, I can take this though. Down this way. Get that ceratopper, get another one. That'll go on uh sky. The meso meal. Hmm, I forget how to get it, but ah, it's not important. Not as important, like I said, everyone's got like flash meals and shit, so. Game facts is your friend, there's a thing for that, even writing that down, I can still manage to get three out of the four. That's not too bad, though. Alright, moving on. Trying to slink past these guys. These guys are actually volcanoes. The reptites know that, and that's what they're gonna go for to hit. Spew shit out, but you can do the same. Oh, wow, I actually missed her. <laughs> Evolution's pretty high up. She actually hits the enemies. I'm gonna do it for the other one. Oh, he missed. Oh, it still counts. Wow, just swinging at it. Sons of bitches. Well, that's dead. Yeah, it only takes so much. Oh, there's my crit. You know, I didn't crit. These guys are weak enough that I can one shot them. Just remember those guys. Yeah, 22 tech points. These guys are... Just that fight alone. Pretty good. I mean, if I hug this wall, I'll be able to avoid that as well. Okay, which switch was this? I think the right switch for this one opens the door. I think the left one drop just drops a bunch of enemies. But that's the switch we need to hit there to open the door in the middle. I can actually go through that now. I think I have to take that uh, fight again with the two reptites and the volcanoes. Unfortunately, yeah, here they come. All right, we can cut this out this time. Another reason to swing at the volcanoes first than the reptites, the reptites actually counter with, um, if you hit them first, they'll actually counter by hitting the volcanoes and doing damage to all three of your party members. So go for the volcanoes first. Managed to crit one of the volcanoes. I take out the other one and then KZ hits the crit hit on the Reptite, and I'll tell you on that one. Ugh. 
safe haven over here. I suggest you shelter up and use it. I'm gonna bring out Mush once again. There's no way that guy stays still for long, just flexing. I'm pretty familiar. I mean, that's the same name, but... His real name is Nisbell 2, the Nisbelling. Uh, same tactics do apply for this guy, the electrical thing, but he doesn't stand still now and just gets and just takes it. He's got a little more resistance to it. And his defense actually goes up and down if you hit him with anything other than a lightning-based attack. So the key is to just unload with that. Volt Bite will do like crazy damage to his... 6,500 HP. You could steal from this guy and get another, um... Third eye, but I already got one from the... That won't be necessary. I'm just gonna be boosting everybody, so to make sure they get their watcher cults out. Mush is there once he unloads that electric attack. So we can uh, aura whirl and get ourselves back in fighting shape. After she hoosts everyone, of course. See, he actually does more than nothing at all when he gets shot. But because I'm not doing, but because I'm only using an electric-based attack, his defense will continue to decrease. And okay, now I gotta use a aura wall and get us back. That did some pretty decent damage. So yeah, as long as you just hit him with that over and over again, you know, you won't. Uh, this thing will never increase in defense. I think even just because he electrified it, he still has like... He might have some of it off. Let's see, even that alone just does about a thousand. I think this next one should take him down. Um, num, num, num. There we go! Not over yet, though. Still got a bit of a ways to go before we can finish this dungeon off. So, if you want, there it is. You can use that, but I wouldn't recommend it. I will recommend switching back over to King Z real quick. Up those stairs, out this door. Another area where it's like the middle door has to be unlocked by heading to the right. I have some fights along the way to take care of before I do that, though. Okay, that taken care of. What I do, even though this door isn't open, I go here anyway to make sure these enemies drop, because unlike the previous time we had to do this, just moments ago, these guys won't respawn, and I don't have to fight them again, so I'm just getting them out of the way now. Smack him down with lightning and then just unload with your characters till he dies. And after he's done, two more of these pterosaurs are gonna drop. And then we won't have to worry about them once that door opens, I can just go through. There, now they won't bother us once we make our way over there. Right. Um, just have to worry about the middle one. Um, which one does what? I know one is it written down here. Uh, top is save. Left uh, removes the panels, make th all this here pits on both sides, and right will drop enemies. They can also be dropped through the pits themselves. Or if you didn't drop the pits, you'll have to fight them. Then we just open that up by hitting X right in front of that. That's the switch for the middle door. Another full ether for us. This save we I do want to use and shelter up one. A little off the sides, had to fight uh, two of them pterosaurs that dropped. Uh, I think this is one I can uh, try and avoid. Okay. Sometimes those enemies down there will show up. I'll have to find another alien Rex in a volcano, I think. And there's the Reptite of the Hour. It's a kick-ass throne, I gotta say, though. We know how history works. I guess we can... Oh... 
Oh dear. Yeah. Good thing he sued, because as all is ready with his trump card in the back, or her trump card in the back, I'm not sure. Another Sarah Topper. I'm gonna put that on Mush and bring her back into the party for this. All right, everybody set. This boss fight coming up can actually be kind of problematic. I was right about the star up there being ominous. So Zal's going down with the ship. Okay, two-part boss fight here. Azala, 2700 HP and Black Tyranno, 1700 or 10,700, I should say. Uh, let's see. Doing that Frieza shit. Didn't, didn't enemy exploding though, thankfully. Ooh, and yeah, they're gonna be doing some serious, serious damage. The one thing to really watch for is when Toronto sticks his tongue out and eats somebody. The ice sword's the way to go for him, but I want to get uh, his watch a call off first. Because I can actually steal from these guys. A magic tab from Azala and a power tab from the Toronto itself. Focus on uh, Azala first. Let me uh, twin charm. Make sure I'm doing the right one. Yeah. I could be doing much damage to him outside of anything else. Ice Sword's the biggest thing I can hit him with. Oh, there it is. How much did that do? Pretty significant numbers. It's bad because I gotta spend a time waiting that out now. Uh. Do Volt Bite, it won't do that much damage. Take a Zala out, take him out now. Or her. Again, I don't know. Got our 700 right there. A little over, actually. Yeah, because normal hits don't do shit. If that was a crit, that would have just been a flat 100. Give or take. Maybe not a flat hundred. This is annoying too. Oh, and not actually gets it off. Thankfully, I didn't get mush like last time on my test. I know wait for her to wake up because eventually Toronto's gonna drop its defense, and then we can actually hurt it. That's why I'm not attacking Toronto, doing attacks where it hits both party members yet. Okay, I'm gonna heal again. Smack you in the face, see what that does. Probably not a whole hell of a lot, but it'll. Every little bit helps. Oh, good, that means she'll wake up. Alright, she's back in the fight. Yep, removed defense and the storing power. I did it quickly enough to be able to drop a Zala and then. Yep, okay. There goes a Zala. Breakdown. Right. This guy's big thing is just counting down before he unloads his really nasty attack, which is gonna hit all three of us. Um, you were gonna haste. Cube toss his ass. And again, you can do twin charm to get the power tab, but I already did that, so I'm just gonna focus on kicking its ass. All 10,700 of it. <laughs> now I'm not gonna get another what you called off. I better wait the zero for the whirl. There it is. This is actually the easy part now, now that the Zal is out of the way. Let's just keep ourselves in the fight that way. Ooh, crit him. That didn't do that 
much. Oh, that's right, his defenses are up still. Gotta wait him out again. So, if that's the case, we're gonna... If that's the case, time to haste. Heal our next turn, actually, too. Because Kiss only does so much. Just me now. Alright, we're all set as far as fist goes. Now it's just a matter of unloading till it dies. Happy defense, okay. Here we go. How many uh cube tosses I can get off. But at the same time hitting it as well. Spam and Falcon hit it did about a thousand, but that would do a little bit more. I'll add my shit to it as well. Love this boss music, by the way. They are rocking him for about 16, maybe 1700 up a turn. He gets that countdown off and hit us again. I don't know if I can actually get him before he actually... gets a second shot off. I just want to make sure I have enough for another Aura Whirl. He does actually get me down to, like, the single digits at MP of the times I've practiced fighting this thing. Crit. Ooh, all right. There we go. That'll help in the long run. Can I get him before he reaches zero? Can I get him before he reaches zero? Risking it for the biscuit. Actually, you know what? Let's make it super count and do Luminaire. Hmm. Or not. I didn't do the turn that time. All right. Managed to brute force my way through another boss fight. <laughs> actually, did get dicey. Actually, took out my healer. I had to use a, re I had to use a revive because I didn't want to waste the MP on life. It was too steep for me. Good thing I had that um, silver stud on Mush. Even with that, I was like losing a lot of stuff because she would be healing a lot, hasting all that good stuff. Shit, she knows what it is, too. It comes from the one place not yet ruled by capitalism. Space! So Lavos was the Ice Age, or at least was the bringer of it. I wonder if it was an intentional bringer of it, or... I see. Well, now we know the actual origin of Lavos. Once again, another load-bearing boss. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Kino you know, brought us the dactyls. Oh, sure. Now they seat four. Let's 
Zala foretold the, the Reptite's own destruction. For the future! Lavos is the assassin! Of everything, really. Unless we stop him. Of course. Gotta save the world and stuff. Ugh, might still be time to uh, attack it while it's still weak. Uh, that's what's left of the uh, Tyranno layer, these big ass crater. Yeah, but no Lavos. But he did create that one back in 600 that threw us here in the first place, so. Got a bit of grunt more grinding to do because everyone's uh, close up on like their next tech. And then we'll go through what's behind this gate next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger.